You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. It's time for Elise and I to check out two games. Yes, but before we get into these two games, we need to say thanks to Play Monster for sending us these unique and fun, hopefully fun, games. We will find out. Now, we cannot play either of them. Yeah. Uh, because it would not be fair because the games are both part of the Chicago Toy and Game Taggy Awards. So they were picked as entrants. So on the right, we have Eddie. He's age 10. Mm -hmm. And on the left, we have Tiggy. She is age 12. So they both invented these games. Yeah. And the Young Inventors Program is there to inspire the next generation, which is you. <laughs> to use creativity, critical thinking, and STEM skills in the invention and innovation process to connect professionals within the toy industry to young inventors. Cool. All right, so everybody's going to have to vote. We're going to put a link in the description. Go there and vote for which one you think you would like better. Yeah. And then you have some time here because it's not uh, till the end of the month that the voting ends. Mm -hmm. So now let's do this. We're going to check out Drawn to Crime and Gushu. We won't play them, but we'll get them out of the box. We'll check out the pieces and get an understanding of each game. First game is Draw into Crime, the sketchy game of sketchy people. Mm. Three or more players, ages six and up. So we're kind of like a sleuth or a private detective and we need yeah. to learn more about this game. <laughs> As you see, it's all bricks, like a building sign and the police line, do not cross. Yeah. All right, we're going to check out this game now. There's the side artwork. Uh, there is the game dropping <laughs> on the table. And here is the back. A crime has been committed. Oh, no. One of you witnessed the suspected jewel thief flee down an alley. Now, and now you use the flipbook to secretly assemble the subject. The other players take turns asking yes or no questions and try to accurately draw the suspect. Oh. The witness decides whose sketch is closest to win the round. So it's like a sketch artist yeah. uh, or a police detective artist. Is the suspect a man? Hmm. Start sketching. Mm, yeah, is the suspect wearing a hat? Hmm. Is it a fluffy hat? <laughs> or is it a, well, I guess you ask one question. You could ask that, is it a cowboy hat? So you kind of work your way through it. Yeah. And then flip the books, three panels, to create 240 different suspects. Wow. So the contents, book of suspects, eight pencils, four pads of paper, line-up mat, interview question, tense, and rules. Okay. Are you ready to open this? Yeah. Well, let's come back and do that so we can take a little mental break here and prepare ourselves to be crime detectives. All right, here we go, Elise. There is this. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Let me get my scissors here. Okay. It looks like some kind of mat. Yeah. Ooh, let's see. Okay, this is the crime... No, this is actually like you're in the police station and they're measuring your height. 7'6". Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. That's pretty uh, yeah, tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me roll this the other way. Here, I'll start it like this so you can get it to lay and then you finish rolling it and see if you can get it to lay flat. Okay, so there's a big packet in here with stuff. Let's just open that up. Okay. Yeah, it works nice. pretty well. Nice. All right. All right, so we have pencils. Hmm. Oh. We have these wow. little... Wow. Those are some nice pencils. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just doing some detective work. Detective work, stuff. yeah, right. Okay, good prop. Good oh, prop. Oh, okay. These are Ooh. Draw Into Crime. All right. Looks cool. A Looks book. Cool. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a book. I need to look at that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, nice book. <laughs> All right, and then we have one, two, three, four pads. Slowly curling up. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> and the instructions. Okay, so that's everything they said would be in the box. Yep. And this is slowly moving its way back, so we might have to play with that a little bit. Book of Suspects and Pencils. Okay, so why don't you go through the Book of Suspects okay. and see what we have in there. So someone's going to say, oh, I Ooh. get it. So you flip them and set them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's set one. There. So you would say, does he have black? Does he have a bald spot? <laughs> okay. So does he look like a circus clown? Ooh, I see a woman in there. Does she have gray hair, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be an option. Ooh. And then... There. All right, so kind of hold it up here a little bit so they could All see right. it. And then slowly flip the whole thing back. 
and then just do one at a time, like do all the hairs so we see what all the top pieces okay. are. Okay, so does he have a gestures hat? Does he have gears in his hair? Those are flowers. Does he wear a baseball cap? <laughs> Hmm, no, a knitted cap, a nice little okay, hat, yeah, and uh, what is that? A headband. A mohawk. Mohawk. Okay. Pirate I'm hat. I'm still folding this back. Is he wearing a pirate's hat? Mm -hmm. I'm still working on this thing. Keep going. Does he have a bald spot? Pigtails. Mm hmm Luscious flowing locks. There you go. <laughs> Okay, ponytail. does she have a ponytail? A top ponytail. Is he completely Burgundy bald? Burgundy hair, yeah. And then a chef's, chef's hat. hat. Alright, so now flip. Uh, yeah, keep going. There you go. Does she have glasses? He or she? Does he, does he have a clown nose? I don't know. Yeah. I just think it's a funny looking face. <laughs> yeah. So there's faces on both sides. Mm -hmm. Was that the same way with the hats when you flipped it? So, oh yeah, there was yeah. one there and one there. Alright, keep flipping. Is that ski goggles? Or I like, think so. Like yeah. a ski mask? Does he wear glasses? Does he Ooh. wear hippie peace sign glasses? Or she? The scientist? Yeah, maybe. Pirate. Pirate. I see now. Or like oh, a This is finally laying patch. flat. Does it look old? <laughs> okay, so set up. Lay the line up board in the middle of the plying area. Each player glasses. takes a pencil and pad of paper or sheets from a pad. Okay. A Those crime has cool. been committed. One of you is the only witness. So you would be the witness now as you're folding and getting your book ready. Okay? Okay. The youngest player is the first witness. Take the book of suspects and secretly flip through the three sections to create your <laughs> oh, own unique funny. subject. Yeah, there you go. So now you're on the mouths. Okay? Yeah. Let me get the camera a little closer. Go. Go, go, go. Go fast. Go, Does he go. have... Wait, no. What's the last oh. one? Does he have like a scruffly face? <laughs> Okay, and tongue hmm. out. can you see you their mustache? teeth? Yeah, so those are the kind of questions we need. Beard. Does he have a beard? Does he have uh, a long beard? Yeah, silver hair, no hair, goofy tongue, yellow hair, brown hair. I don't know. I guess Black colors, beard. since we're just using pencils, aren't as much. Aren't as and important. there's our chef. There's the chef. <laughs> and then make sure the other players cannot see your suspect. And that no pages or section move or change once you have started the round. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's just do an example here. So if you take this and you randomly just say, I'm going to do this. Suspect. Okay. Oh, I just happened to land on something that actually worked. Yeah. The witness may make up any, make up and tell the story of the crime they saw to add extra fun. So I was sitting on the bench near the pier down by the lake. This boat came in to shore, and I saw them take some stuff from another boat. Boy, what a sketchy character he was. There, I've told a story. So now okay. we know it's kind of related to water, possibly, right? Yeah. And then, okay, now I make up a story. As I was writing my, okay, I did that. Now the other players act as, act as sketch artists, and one by one, beginning with the person to the left, interview the witness. So let's say you are the witness. Okay, does the... Person have a patch over his eye. Uh, I don't know. I, I think so. All right. Well, yeah, you're supposed to know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. So then I would draw that out. Get it? Mm -hmm. And then you're working your way. Okay. So then what do we? How do we get now? Then eh, if you need help, eh, the sketch artist. Okay. And then when you're all done, and you must answer yes or no, sketch artist. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, person uh, who knows who's uh, got the actual. Crime. Uh, what do they call those? <laughs> All right. So the sketchy people, game of sketchy artists, sketchy drawers like us. Mm -hmm. Does he have a mustache? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. So you draw that out. And then when you're all done, after the interview is over, oh, you get 10 questions. Okay. Okay. After the interview is over, the sketch artist must draw what they believe the suspect looks like. So after the 10. Okay. Given the information they received, hide your drawing from the witness and maybe the other sketch artists. Ooh. When the sketches are finished, shuffle them up so the witnesses do not know who drew which one. Oh, that adds a little twist, so you can't always mm -hmm. just favor your friend yeah. or your dad, because, you know, if we're playing this together. <laughs> and then the witness then reveals their suspect, so you would hold that up. Yeah. 
and choose which sketch they believe is the closest. The sketch, that sketch, that sketch artist gets one point. Okay, keep track of your drawings. A star on your sketch and keeping it. Wait, keep track? The sketch artist gets one point. Keep track of your points by drawing a star on your sketch and keeping it. Ah. Okay. Now the next player to the left is the witness and creates a new suspect. Each player should get a chance to be the witness at least once, win the game. The first person with three points. All right. And you can switch it up. Want to get fancy with your drawing? Add your own crayons, color, pencil section. If you do that, you can ask more specific questions like color. That was one thing I said. We're drawing in pencil. Yeah. All right. Woo. We figured it out. Looks like a fun game. Probably yeah, great for the whole family. Let's look at the next game. This next one is Goo on My Shoe. Watch out for the icky, sticky, nasty stuff. Two to four players, ages four and up. Four and up. Young Inventor Challenge. This is invented by Eddie. <laughs> now, to me, it looks like uh, some type of box, right? Like a shoe box? Yeah, probably a shoe box. That makes the most sense. <laughs> I guess you're right. It's a shoe box for shoes. And neat artwork with the little gooey slime yeah. running down the edge. Ew, goo. Make your way along the path through the park, trying not to step in sticky globs of goo. Reach the end first to wash off some goo and hopefully have the least amount of goo to win. So the green box says you stepped in goo. Add it to your shoe. Aha, a puddle lets you remove a goo. Mmm, place goo on the board so others step in it, okay? And there's a little meat eddy. We're going to put that up because it was hard to read on the other box, so we'll put those up for you to check out. Yeah. There's the contents. Let's come back now and open goo on my shoe. Okay, are you ready, Elise? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, oh yeah. Okay, there we go. I think something out there. Set that up. The board. Mm-hmm. We got the board. And then there's a pack in here with all the different parts. <gasps> cool little shoes. Ooh. I like the little shoes. Yeah. And this is part of the spinner. What is in here? This almost looks like little piles of goo. Oh, Probably. it is. So you have different colors of goo. Mm -hmm. Are these like railings or something yeah looks oh no those are for the spinner oh really oh mm -hmm. <laughs> and then here is the instruction book light this looks like it's going to take a little setup huh mm -hmm. all right so i gotta figure this out oh this just goes on here so that you would spin it's like you're in a park you know and you got the little uh rolly spinny thing and everybody flies on oh. there and spins out of control and then this looks like it goes under the game board, and you put that there. Right, let's set this up. You take out those, or at least, yeah, so we can feel what it's like, right? Mm -hmm. I should be reading, but I'm just kind of taking the initiative here. Ooh, this is kind of nice. What kind of gooey slime is it like? Hmm, it's kind of hard. Okay, so it's a little harder. Okay, so good. let's see the Cares contents. Like Game board, merry-go-round. That's what it's like, a merry-go-round. Feel, feel? Yeah. yeah, I do. Okay. It's almost like a sticky putty, almost. Should I open the other two? Yeah, let's get them out. Let's okay. check them out. And there are the little pieces to the railing. Hmm. Let's look. There's like two spots to put them. Are they all the same? Oh, they're not all say, the same size. Okay, so there's three that size, four that size, and four that size. Where does it say set up? Lay the game board out in the middle, okay? Place the merry go -round spinner in the center, did that. Each player chooses a set of shoes, all right? Remove all the goo. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's two size holes. There's the short ones. It looks like these. Okay, and then there's the long ones that go like this to the center. That's pretty neat, all right? Okay. Yeah, just hand it to me and I'll put them in. That's quicker. We want to get to how to play. But now everyone knows, that's pretty cute, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. And a long one. There should be one more long one somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Uh, 
I just want to spin it. Yeah. The design is really smart, though. Look at that. That's a cool spinner, huh? Yeah. All right, so I'll put all the shoes back on the start. That's the finish. Here's yeah. the start. <laughs> so we would start here. Okay. Okay. When adding goo to the game board, take a small piece, maybe pea size from the goo bank to you. So it's a goo bank. It's like the money bank. All right. Play. The youngest player spins the merry-go-round first and makes a move depending on what the spinner indicates. So let's just see. Let's pretending. Here's a little arrow. See that there? Yeah. Well, that's a good spinner. That spins for a long time. Yeah, it does. Nice design on that. Okay, so three. One, two, three, four, or six, five or six. Move your shoe that number of spaces along the game board. So it's not color coded, but so you would move three. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, one, two, three. I guess if you want to advance, one, two, three. I guess it's up to you. Depending on if maybe you land on lose a turn, it wouldn't be good. So then you would take a different route, I guess, yeah. right? You get to place one goo anywhere along the game board path to try and get other players into sticky situations, then you spin again. Uh, goo two, you get to place two new, okay, so that's goo one means you put one goo down anywhere on the path. Goo two means you get to put two goos down, okay? Okay. Watch where you land when you move along the game board. There are some special spaces on the board that will let you go, let you, to go ahead, which is what we saw here. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead, lose a turn, spin again. Plus, you'll have to watch out for spaces with one or more globs of glue, spaces with puddles, and all of that fun stuff. Winning the game. The first player to make it to the finish gets to remove one goo from the shoe. Then all the players count up the goo on their shoes. The player with the least amount of goo wins. Celebrate by stomping around pretending you have goo on your feet. Well. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let me see the goo one more time. So a pea-sized piece. So let's just say I landed on goo one. So I would take a little piece and I want to put it here. So if you accidentally land on it, it's going to be on your shoe, right? Yeah. So I guess you're collecting this goo as you go around on your shoe. Hmm. Hmm? Makes sense? Yeah. Okay, well, that is game number two. Let's pack that one back up, bring them back in, and wrap it up. Oh, there were some tips here. Always keep the goo sealed in the container. Okay. When you put goo on your shoe, you can put it on the bottom. You can also put it on the top wherever you want. If you have goo on your shoe, keep the globs separate. Don't make one big glob so you can count them up at the end. So you don't want to mix them up. You okay. want to keep piling up little globs on your shoes. And move on and play the game. All right. There you go. So you're basically just getting to the end and the winner takes off one and you tally them all up. And that's the game, Goo Shoe. Yeah. Let's wrap it up. Okay, we are back, and uh, Lisa and I had a discussion off camera, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she will not tell you which one she likes, and I will not tell you uh, which one I like, but it was a disagreement. Yeah, it was. She liked one over the other, and I liked the other one over the other that she liked. Yeah. So that's why you go vote. So we're going to put all the information in the description. Let's help them out. <laughs> which one do you think you would want to play? Goo on my shoe or... Draw into crime. Look at that description and vote. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! Bye! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave! What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah! Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny... Pick it up!